Tonight, we're looking at the contested school board races in St. Joseph County. South Bend voters will be deciding on four seats. There are two at-large seats available and a seat in District 3 and District 4. And there are a lot of issues that the new board will have in front of them at the beginning of 2025. What to do with the former Clay High School and Warren Elementary School? Declining enrollment due to a smaller population and more choices as there are more charter schools open in South Bend and the expansion of the state's voucher program. Recent legislation that will require students who haven't passed the I-READ to be held back in third grade and growing concerns of violence happening inside some South Bend schools. John Anella and Jeanette McCulloch are currently serving on the school board in these at-large positions. John Anella is not running for school board. Jeanette McCulloch is. Marcus Ellison, George Jones, Gabriel Kempf, Lynn King, and Kyla Henderson. Henderson told me she's decided to drop out of the race. In District 3, there are two candidates running for the spot held by Leslie Wesley. Leslie Wesley is not running for re-election. Voters will select either Katrina Baker or Bill Snydecki. Bill Snydecki was on the South Bend School Board for several years until he lost in 2016 to Wesley. In District 4, there are three candidates for voters to choose from. Stephanie Ball currently holds the District 4 seat. She is running for re-election. Annette Malone and Carlos Leva are opposing her. We asked all these candidates questions about the issues facing the South Bend School District. Their answers are on our website. We're also closely watching the other big school board race in St. Joseph County. In PHM, there are three seats up for grabs, one in Harris Township and two in Penn Township. All voters in PHM School Corporation boundaries will vote on all the candidates, no matter what township you reside in. When the board is sworn in in 2025, they'll likely have to confront some difficult issues, including school safety and district transparency. The board has also been grappling with claims teachers are pushing critical race theory. In Harris Township, the incumbent board member is not running for re-election. Gary Fox is running against Art Klinger. Fox served on the PHM school board for 20 years from 2000 to 2020. Klinger worked for PHM schools for 45 years and the district just renamed its planetarium after him. Ryan McAuliffe and James Garrett currently hold the two Penn Township school board seats and they're both running to defend them, including McAuliffe and Garrett. There will be four names on the ballot for Penn Township. Katie Bell and Doug Chaffee are also running. Chaffee is the father of current school board member Matt Chaffee, who was asked to resign after reports alleging he engaged in criminal sexual misconduct involving prostitutes. Every candidate running for PHM school board responded to our list of questions about the issues facing the district. You can find those on our website. On Wednesday, we're taking a close look at the races in Elkhart County. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.